Next year, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The Tiny Meat Gang, Cody Ko, and Noel Miller are going global. TMG presents the Global Domination Tour. The Beef Boys are back with a brand new show, and this time they're taking on the world. The UK, Ireland, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, and the United States of Freedom. You don't want to miss this global event. Get your tickets now. TinyMeatTour.com What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's Patreon.com slash TinyMeatGang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. Listen, mm. I was walking down the street and a man hit me with hot diarrhea. <laughs> a whole bucket of hot diarrhea. What an what a news article that was, man. <laughs> truly, truly one of the most wild things I've read. And it, it's crazy that it happened <laughs> literally down the street, you know? <laughs> Let's read this. Hold on. Let me, let, you know, if you don't know what we're talking about. It's um, this news article that came out on the on New York Post. <laughs> By the way, I want to thank all 200, however many hundred thousand of you for joining the conference call today. Um, this will actually oh, yeah. be Sorry. the this will be the world's longest phone call between Cody and I thus far, and all of knowing <laughs> each other. This will be the longest we've ever been on the telephone, and I think for Cody because I don't think Cody goes on the phone past 20 minutes. Just know. Just know that I, I'm hating every second of this. You have to know that before we go on any further. That I'm furious that we're doing this. And we're going to have to do it next week, too. I hate it. Why? Because it's, it's a conference call? Yeah, I just hate being on the phone. We should just we should just get more people in here to make it really annoying. Actually, that'd be fun. <laughs> just Actually, yeah, Let's maybe get a fucking guest too. in here. Yeah, let's get a get a guest in this bitch. Should I see if right. uh, when Sam's gonna be home? Oh man, what? If Sam could only if I, Sam could only see where his microphone was at. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, read this article about this lady taking. Okay, a hot... I will hold on. Okay, so the article is called <laughs> hot, <laughs> the fucking <stinky> shit. <laughs> the fucking title is "Homeless Man Hurls Bucket of Diarrhea at Woman Near Hollywood Walk of Fame." There's actually a fucking video of this. I didn't see this before. Did you watch the video? I didn't watch the video, man. I, I just watched their interview. Oh, this f- started- thumbnail is brutal. It's like mid-poor. Let me see that, dude. Let me see that shit. Literally, let me see that shit. Click on it. So that. Can I read this? Bro, that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay. A homeless man dumped a bucket of, in quotes, hot diarrhea on a Los Angeles woman near the Hollywood Walk of Fame, an unprovoked attack that's left her with PTSD, she said this week. The woman said she was about to drive home from a Thai restaurant near the famed tourist area in April while she was about to have diarrhea herself. When the (laughs) alleged assailant dragged her out of her vehicle, that part's wild as fuck, dude. That's some GTA shit. Yeah, that is that is that's a um, crackhead strength right there. He pulled her into the middle of the street where he dumped a bucket of feces over her head. She said, "Bro, and this is in quotes. This is in quotes. It was diarrhea, hot liquid. I was soaked, yeah. and it was coming off my eyelashes and into my eyes." Referring to the <laughs> amount of feces used in the attack, paramedics who treated her said that it looked like the man was saving it up for a month. Yeah, bro. She said she has to go in for uh, every three months for like STD checks and like just general disease to make sure she's good, Bruh. Dude, that Bruh. I can't imagine how fucking scarring that would be. I'd 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 have to kill him. I would have to kill him. <laughs> You'd be forced to to kill him. <laughs> I just, dude. So listen, man. I'm sorry. A, I gotta kill you. I got. Yeah, this, this is too fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, it, it's you had a good run. <laughs> Just pow, <laughs> dude. There's no way. There's no way I could survive that, like psychologically. Yeah, no. I'd be hot shit. I'd be ruined. I'd be ruined. <laughs> Just knowing that 
just I might have some fucking disease. Oh, bro, no way. And the dude. smell, dude. <laughs> oh, it was probably just I can't even imagine. Dude, the way she like describes it in her interview is like. Oh like, wait, there's an interview with her. Yeah, she, the way she says it though, it doesn't even sound like it's um. Uh, like like it's like it's real like it almost sounds like a bit like just the way she describes it she's like oh it was horrifying it was just hot liquid it was down my eyelids and i started getting hard the more she kept talking about it stop like, Jesus stop, lady. stop 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 <laughs> yeah, you're like what is this a shocker film yeah <laughs> this, is, this is a fucking what imagine? is this a two what girls this, one dude? cup podcast <laughs> this is just fucking just scat play fetish asmr your hot diarrhea <sighs> down my eye fuck that dude i was uh i was talking about this with with devin and he was like he was like there was there's no way it was hot and i was like what do you mean he's like it was I, no it was it was like at, like room temperature at the most to have some, to have something be hot you'd have to microwave it <laughs> i mean yeah you think this guy yeah. like like stole a bird and like took out the battery and like hooked it up to like <laughs> a, a micro microwave that he found somewhere and heated up the shit? No, bro. Well, does it say what time of the day this happened? Because if it's like a hot ass day in Hollywood, the fucking that whole part of L.A. gets hotter than everything else in L.A. So that's true. I guess you could just leave it out in the sun and it could heat up sufficiently. Yeah, if it's if it's during the day, I mean, shit is hot in general. So what kind of you know, a just, what kind of a, like this was clearly planned. I mean, bro, you got to figure this dude is like, just like uh, just like gone. untreated. Oh yeah, untreated addict or something, and he uh, that what, what that whole action. We don't even know what he saw in his own mind. That is crazy, bro. Saving your shit for months just. Just pooping in a bucket. Not pooping. Diarrheaing in a bucket. Oh, man. It's just crazy to know that fate had somebody's name on that bucket, like from day one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> she said she... It said, there's another article say, here saying she thought it was an acid attack. Yeah. Probably just based on the smell, I would probably think it was acid, too. I mean, it, it probably qualifies as acid. I thought it was an acid attack. It started to go down and on my head and into my eyelashes, and that's when I realized. <gasps> no, she she clearly like. Oh. She clearly, oh. dude, that's crazy that he dragged her out of the fucking car. I thought she was Into just walking the down the street. street and got splish splashed. You know, <laughs> just fucking was in the wet zone. But she got fucking... dragged out of her car. She was probably horrified. They're just. LA is just going to designate like a splash zone. Like you're going to have to go down the walk of fame with a poncho and fucking eye goggles. <laughs> it's like, what's that fucking game show where they got slimed at the end? Uh Oh, or whatever on Nickelodeon. What was that called? <laughs> Double dare or fucking. <laughs> yeah. <what's... laughs> No, bro, it was called Uh Oh. Please don't tell me uh -oh. this was a Canadian shit. Oh, it was Canadian. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it was Canadian. Yeah, this, we had a different name for that shit <laughs> in America. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. It's fucking, what is that show? God damn it. That's what I pictured when I read this article. Just a big bucket of green poop. She's getting slimed and she's like smiling. Ugh. <laughs> I think it was, I think it was double there. I swear it was doubled there. Dude, if you guys know, if anyone knows, uh-oh, you got to let me know about that in the comments. Because that, <laughs> that, no, I remember it really was like one of my favorite shows as a child. Watching people get nah, slimed is yeah, dope. doubled there for America. Yeah, where you get hit by the giant trough of homeless shit. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> dude. That, was the, that was the end of the game show. It was homeless dude shit. <laughs> A fucking storm drain worth of homeless shit <laughs> pouring down on your goddamn head. Dude, that's so funny. Now they're going to have to put up signs on Hollywood Boulevard like warning hot diarrhea <laughs> attacks. 
<laughs> Enter at your own risk. You know, like when you go to a fucking haunted house and like it's like a whole area and there's like the fucking disclaimer and the barricade. <laughs> it's dude, it's basically gonna be like that's our version of Bourbon Street, but instead of liquor, it's fucking uh, homeless feces. Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. I say all this and like I'm like inside and Alina's just outside on the patio. Just like <laughs> Just, just enjoying just, the beautiful view. Yeah, just we're talking about homeless craziest, dude diarrhea. <laughs> this is the craziest juxtaposition <laughs> right now. <laughs> Imagine this like a movie. Yeah, we're just in here like hot homeless dookie, and then cut to her outside, just breeze back in here. Holly, Anyways, Hollywood's man. a fucking brutal place right now, dude. No, nah, it is, man. It's brutal, just, man. Sh- <clears throat> People always ask me like, should I go check out the Walk of Fame? I say no, absolutely not. Stay away. Never. Never. Don't do it. That whole part of L.A., don't go near don't it. Don't even do it. Don't even think about it. Go other, other no. places. Go to Chatsworth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to the valley. Hey, go fucking deep <laughs> valley, dude. Get some boba in the valley That's before you, you go to the fucking <laughs> Hollywood Walk of Fame. Dude, fucking do anything. I've done, a, I've done a handful of shows, like early in stand-up, at the fucking TCL Chinese Theater. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My God, dude. That's in the thick there, of it, too. That's, like, right where yeah. all, like, the dudes in costumes are, right? Yeah. Trying to convince friends to go there. Like, you'd be like, yeah, I got a show. And people be like, oh, I want to check you out. Where is it going to be? It's the TCL Chinese Theater at the Walk of Fame. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, instant no. Yeah, no. I'm going to be fucking sick that day. Sorry. Yeah, dude. I'm sick anytime. I'm going to have diarrhea that day. <laughs> 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 oh man dude also doing shows there was so brutal because like because it was a movie theater it's like soundproofed like fuck i'd watch even the dopest comedians go up there and sound like they were eating shit Uh-oh. because like the laughter just doesn't echo oh yeah the laughter in there is like <laughs> just and that's it hop! <laughs> hop! <laughs> <laughs> This is demoralizing as fuck, dude. dude. And it's just like the prime situation to not care about a comedy show. Oh, they had to n- peel off my clothes wearing hazmat suits. They hosed Ooh! me down in this makeshift curtain. Oh, what? That's a Ooh! talk about a bad day, man. Yeah. Talk about a bad what day. A sh- what a shitty day. Um, Speaking of going through some shit, you know, Brother Nature got fucking malaria. I know, I saw that. That's crazy. <clears throat> Wild, dude. It looks like he's going to be fine, though. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to pull through. My man's going to pull through. I mean, By how do you even the... get that? From animals? Yeah, I mean, just a mosquito. Just, you know. Mosquitoes, you know, yeah, but you got to go to a certain place where it's it's common, no? Where it's prevalent. Like, I... you can't just get malaria here, can you? I mean, no. Yeah, you have to go somewhere where it's like it exists. That's so why you got to get the shots yeah. before going to... Southeast Asia and shit. It. Yeah, but I don't think even then, like you have you have to like provide. Pr- oh, actually, I guess not. You don't need like you're not required to. But I feel like a guy like him would make sure to get that. No. Yeah, but he got like apparently he got some super rare one. That's yeah, like so the deadliest was, strain or whatever. So he was gonna get got regardless. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure you know our 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 fair lady didn't plan on you know getting a hot bucket of pad thai i mean i wouldn't you know i wouldn't doubt if she got some strain of malaria from that <laughs> i mean that's fucked up to joke about that but oh man oh yeah. god <laughs> i'm just thinking about the bucket now sitting in the sun <laughs> i know there's so dude it's like a bad car accident like like you know when you like, leave queso out and like the top layer like hardens <laughs> There's someone in their car right now going, shut the fuck up. Stop. No more. <laughs> Just scream. <laughs> no more. Someone's going. Ugh. <laughs> Just turn. Sorry. Turn, Just turned to look at me through the glass and she went, what the fuck? <laughs> she did, Trust me, she does not want to know what we're talking about. <laughs> I just picture it. 
<laughs> that bug is like fucking pot pie. Like it's all thick on the top uh, and then just chunky. And stop, shit. stop, stop. I'm actually feeling like physically ill now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. This is the hardest I've laughed all week. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> this is rough, man. I feel it. I'm like how sick I feel right now. Imagine her, man. Speak, that- speaking of shitty clothes, you want to get some better clothes? <laughs> 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 Just roll up right yeah, exactly. into it. Stitch fix. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, dude! I'm I'm literally crying. I'm fucking crying. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine if this becomes like an epidemic. Oh, hell no, dude. The hot diarrhea fucking... attacks of 2020. <laughs> dude. People like talk about like the end of the world, like doomsday preppers and yeah. shit. Just go to North Hollywood, dude. You get a glimpse. <laughs> that shit feels like a zombie apocalypse. That shit is chaos. No, it really does. It really does, man. I remember like, like... the very first time I even, <laughs> or the very, probably the first week that I moved here, I was on Hollywood and Vine. It's got to be the worst intersection. It's disgusting, dude. Yeah, and I like, and I just was in the car, like, kind of stoked because you know we're looking at like apartments around that area, and it's like cheap. Like everything around around there is like you know there's a bunch of new apartments there, but they're all cheap. And I'm like, why are they <laughs> so whole, affordable? Yeah. This is crazy. They're super <laughs> new and nice. And we're sitting there, and this dude walks by, just like from The Walking Dead, just fucking meth scabs everywhere. <laughs> and he like looks in the car. He's not even walking on the sidewalk. He's walking like between the car and the sidewalk. Like, so right yeah, beside the like, car. Oh. I was like, ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, it's $400 a month to live there. Yeah. Because it's like, it's a it's a test to see if you can even survive a year lease. Yeah, exactly. You gotta get clapped up, dude. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Well, anyway, I, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out here. So just so people know, uh, if you haven't seen me on Instagram already, I'm out here in the beautiful island of... Um, the Big Island, right? What? Yeah, I'm on the Big Island, brother. So you are on the Big Island for the whole time? Oh yeah, dude. We just been sitting. It's beautiful, man. It a lot in. of good uh, lava rock there. Yeah, dude. This what this hotel is crazy. I'm not finna dox myself, but yeah, don't. I made a I made a TikTok and I was gonna post it, but then. I would have doxed myself because I had the hotel on the phone. You, you know that fucking you know that sound bite? This shit is so dumb, dude. Which one? You know the one uh, I told bus that pussy open. Um, play it into the mic. Oh fucking! Oh god damn it! All right, hold on. Play it. I how told a bus that I thought you would know this. Open. All right, hold on. Hold I on. I mean, I'll on, probably on. know it. Once you play it. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. I got a shout out. Um, I got a shout out. Um, Fucking um, Penguin Zero. Oh, yeah. Critical, critical, duh. Most critical, baby. Most critical, yeah. I got a shout out. He did it. He did it. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen TikToks with that one. What, dude? Come on, man. That's like, which is weird because that, I'm that's cr- crazy. I'm scrolling that app all the time, <laughs> I, cruising, dude, I fucking cruising, dude. That's that's insane because that's like the best one. That's like all like the middle America couples. Oh yeah, up with fa- with like Fago and like the dude always like just rolls over and <laughs> it's like saying that shit mad aggressive in their ear. It's always like you know. It's always some hearty girl with a with a wry smile. Yeah. Like, oh babe, you gotta stop that. Yeah. I was like, I really want to do one where like I open uh, the sound bite starts and I roll over and it's just like me and like a old lady's like like hospital <laughs> like like hospice like at home. She got like an oxygen tank and I'm just <laughs> 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 shit in her ear. <laughs> I told her to bust that pussy open. Anyway, I my bit was me dialing nine one one and saying that into nine one to the nine one one operator. Oh, okay, nice. I yeah, like that. But here's that's not even that's not even funny. The funny part is after I filmed the TikTok, I <clears throat> I like hang up the phone 
but because it was 911, it like auto dialed. So the security called me right back and they were like, Hey, Mr. Miller, is uh, everything okay? <laughs> oh, we got to drop 911 call. And I was like, Oh, yeah, not everything's fine. And I was just imagining having to explain, like, they're like, Well, is there a particular reason you dialed it? <laughs> yeah, man, I was making a TikTok. <laughs> That's when you scrap and you're just like, I have panic attack or something. Yeah, I, I had a panic attack. I yeah, yeah, my brain tumor was acting up again. Yeah, but exactly. I think I'm fine. I think I'm okay. I was making a TikTok. <laughs> fucking imagine that, dude. Taxpayers' dollars. He said they're like, we drove all the way fucking out here because you were like, you needed a prop for TikTok. Like 45 minutes away because it's an island. Yeah, like, full on fire trucks asshole. showing up. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I yeah, so Critical did a video on... Where the fuck did it? Did he delete it? No, it's on here somewhere. He did a video. Oh, yeah, there is nothing good on TikTok, it's called. It's so good. It's just yeah. like eight minutes of him just fucking tearing into TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, Because he's so blunt bad, about man. it, you know? Yeah, I got to go watch that fucking... Every time I make one, I just feel like an asshole and I delete it within 10 minutes. Oh, oh, this is something I want to talk about. So I was watching on H3 Pockets. I brought up this article that was written. I'm going to bring it up right now, actually. The one about the um, even hotter homeless diarrhea. (laughs) (laughs) There should be like on Hollywood Boulevard, there should be like, you know, like the terror threat level. Yeah. That was like on CNN for forever. But it's just like like homeless shit bucket no, threat it's level. just like the temperature of the diarrhea it's like <laughs> blue to red red is boiling hot diarrhea red is just steaming hot. steaming hot yeah and then cold is um is uh hard cakey. logs <laughs> yeah yeah just just it just thick imagine a thick cold diarrhea poop, no not even diarrhea poop logs <laughs> like fully formed vegan healthy eating just logs a- it's just, it's just a mud pie. <laughs> just imagine, just a, imagine getting poop logs dumped on you and they just bounce off you. Oh, it still suck, though. Oh, oh. All right. Or it's just like... Uh, what? Anyway, yeah, what? Good. No, no. <laughs> My boy who's in the Navy said that they used to like throw these gigantic like shit discs in the fucking ocean. Like, they're made of trash. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> so basically, they take all the trash from the ship... And stomp it out into a disc, and they would just chuck like this fucking thirty by thirty disc into the goddamn ocean, just like a just a fucking turd Oreo. Can you do that? <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to, but they do that shit. Jesus <laughs> fuck, man! <laughs> just imagining homeless people on like some like Amer- American Gladiator shit, just like posted up on turrets <laughs> down fucking. <laughs> Hollywood Boulevard with shit discs, just firing them at, just shooting them off at tourists and stuff. Giant huts made out of shit. <laughs> Dude's like rolling, me. rolling poop balls like dung beetles <laughs> down Hollywood Boulevard. It's just a whole community made of shit. <laughs> it's like Adobe clay. All right, anyway, <laughs> go ahead. All right, so this bit, this. Article's called U.S. Launches National Security Probe into Chinese-Owned App TikTok. Oh, shit. What? It's basically about how TikTok could potentially be like a national security threat because so many Americans are using it, and it's owned by ByteDance, which is Chinese, and they're like a data farming company. So obviously they're collecting data on... And, you know, the terms of service are fucking insane. Like it's, oh, yeah. you know, they own everything you post. They own everything you do on that app. Yeah. So, you know, it, it could potentially like they could, you know, uh, interfere with our elections and shit. China could through TikTok. So sick, dude. Crazy. They just owned us. Everyone was like World War Three is going to be like on a battlefield with like drones and shit. And nah, it's just fucking <laughs> it's just everyone. It's just cyber warfare through <laughs> lip syncing. Yeah. Yeah, just lip syncing, bust that pussy open. That is fucking hilarious, dude. Anyways, continue. Bro, in the past year, it's been downloaded 750 million times globally. More than Facebook, Insane. Instagram, YouTube, or Snapchat. Bro, do you remember? So, wait, did you have anything else to say? Because I kind of have a tag on that. No, yeah, go for it. I'm just reading the article. Fucking, <clears throat> so 
to that point, do you remember Bart Baker, the dude who would like do all the parody <clears throat> yeah. tracks? Yeah, I've seen that dude before. <clears throat> so he like he did like the biggest one that I remember was him parodying Gucci Gang. Okay. Uh, as Poopy Gang. Poopy Gang? So I guess, yeah, <laughs> he did Poopy Gang. I like anyway, that, I approve. So Vice did a, did a, like a, just like a short like video on him. And <clears throat> after the adpocalypse or whatever, I guess his earnings took a massive shit. Okay. Which was, you know, I wonder like what that meant to him because they show where he lives and I know where that's at and where he lives is not fucking cheap. That shit is like expensive. I mean, like so, he had a fuck ton of subscribers, didn't he? He did. Or so he still, I mean, he still does, but like he used to like, he used to get like 10 million on every single video, right? <clears throat> right. And so I guess after the adpocalypse, and maybe it has to do with the fact that he's like, you know, he's um uh he's doing stuff that's owned by record labels which is just like the most vicious <clears throat> business entity that you could go up against but he yeah. has done like a hard fucking pivot and i guess like he's just quit youtube entirely and what now he, he just he streams on like a chinese like live streaming app and he got picked up by like a chinese talent agency and he's moving to china if he hasn't already he doesn't even know mandarin or like what or like he's like learning it on the go, and uh, yeah, first search is Bart Baker China. He's like he's he's all in on that shit now. Oh, there's a fucking HBO. Oh, there's a Vice <sighs> video on it. Yeah, that's what. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was watching. Oh, the Vice bro, video. I know oh. where this fucking apartment is. <laughs> yeah, dude, this those shit are, is not those cheap, are man. Fucking expensive as fuck. Yeah, so I'm like, were you just living above your means? Now you just got to go to China and... Bart Baker, former fucking... YouTube celebrity, starts off most mornings by screaming in mangled Chinese. Yeah, he just like live streams and like, he basically does TikTok shit, but it's just him singing. Dude, it's like, it's crazy. It's like, it's like some Westerner, like, borderline like not propaganda but like one of like his biggest videos is him singing like the chinese national anthem and a lot okay. of his shit is just like sort of like pro china or whatever i mean he's just embracing chinese culture and <clears throat> unknowingly here's the thing though dude he's moving there and he has all this old content about like smoking weed and shit that is like culturally not acceptable so it's like if he goes and he moves there and then like the government finds out he's like sort of had promoted or did shit that they didn't like. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, like now he's on fucking shitless. foreign soil. Yeah. Like how are you not terrified considering that, you know? Oh man, these comments are depressing. <clears throat> Everyone's like you what, can what tell how depressed he is. He clearly hates what he's doing. Yeah, my man does not look happy. He he just phew. He like he like he finishes some bit, and he's like after it wraps, he's like, "Well, it's easier than making a YouTube video." <laughs> it's just like, "Oof!" This looks like BoJack oh. Horseman in real life. Damn, ooh. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, why you can? I mean, this seems like the solution. I haven't watched it yet, but this seems like the solution for like some fast cash. Like, just keep living in the same same means that you've been living, <clears> but like. His music parodies were like crazy. I mean, he obviously knows what he's doing. Why don't why not just like pitch that as a series to something in the states yeah, and get picked would, up that way? You would think, man. Like you think like knows. you pitched to like <clears throat> Quibi or whatever. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, you would think. But either way, <sighs> that's sad, bro. Very, you know. It's uh it's just dude, it just kind of goes back to what we've always talked about, which is like when you I think this just kind of holds true in general, like with entertainment, like entertainment is so much like it's constant work in that like you can't, <clears throat> you can get comfortable, but I don't feel like you can necessarily be too complacent. Like you always have to be working on the next thing. And when you have like, for like what he does where you have like this fucking insane, just spark. And it's kind of like you're doing shit. That's like, highly shareable highly relatable like it's not very specific to him you know yeah. what i'm saying like i think like when you kind of go down that path like you and 
if you take in all that cash and you start living a certain way, like you're kind of like you're fucking married to that. It's very hard to like go from that to be like, hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bart Baker, and I'm gonna start doing commentary. I mean, like, especially showing- when these are fucking. They, I know these are condos. <clears throat> That's not apartments. He owns yeah, that shit. He's yeah, got a mortgage I, to pay. Yeah, that condo. I know the price on that bitch. That thing is woo. But yeah. Anyways, bro, <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> Oh, dude, oh, me, I've been, I've been chilling, man. <laughs> just I've been, been, just been sitting, talk, sitting here talking about diarrhea. <laughs> Hot I'm diarrhea, looking dude. Looking out the window, <laughs> looking out the window, it's fucking beautiful outside, and I'm just locked myself in this. <laughs> no, honestly, anyway. for me, um, I've just been kind of thinking about like how, and uh, you know how easy it would be for me to you know revamp my wardrobe, and um, oh, really? <laughs> yep, and. <laughs> And you know what? Actually, funny. I just said that out of the blue, but like you know, that reminds me actually um, of of Stitch Fix, which is a company <laughs> that sends you clothes. And here's the thing: not all clothes are fit for everyone. Okay, and with Stitch Fix, your personal stylist at Stitch Fix will send you clothing that makes you look your best. Less one size fits all. More this fits your style. Bars. To get started, <laughs> go to stitchfix.com/tmg. Answer some questions about your preferred style, uh, your personal shop, and your personal shopper will ship you a box of clothes, shoes, and accessories. There's no commitment required, and you only pay for what you keep. Shipping, exchanges, and returns are always free. Um, and uh, you know we've used it before; it's great. They send you shirts so you can pick out. You know, maybe get a nice shirt for for dinner with your in laws. How about that? Yeah. You don't have a shirt that screams. You know, I'm good. F- you know, uh, at, I'm a good. I want to. I want to marry your I child. Marry <laughs> your child. Do you have a shirt that screams that? No. Well, Stitch Fix might be for you. You can get started today at stitchfix.com/tmg and get an extra twenty five percent off when you keep everything in your box. Um, and that's stitchfix.com/tmg. One more time, stitchfix.com/tmg. You know, guys, as I sit here, you know, I want to, I want to present to you an idea. Okay, it's what you've always dreamed of. Okay. Picture okay, this. I'm, You've started picture, your own I'm business. It. Okay. You picturing it? Okay, good. Yeah. You're picturing it. Yep. You've started your own business. Okay. You have no boss. Okay. You. You are the boss. Holy you shit. You are the C you are the CEO. Oh my gosh, no one told you there would be so much admin work. Boom. Cause that's what running a business is. Reality check. <clears throat> running your own business is hard. Well, Honeybook wow. makes it very easy. Honeybook is an online business management tool that organizes your client communications, bo- excuse me, communications, bookings, contracts, and invoices all in one place. It's perfect for freelancers, yeah. entrepreneurs, or small business owners that want to consolidate services like QuickBooks, Google Suite, Excel, MailChimp. With Honeybook, you can automate your busy work, uh, you know, simplify your to-do list, and stay in control. Fuck yeah. Um, I will say that, uh, you know, it, it, this, I think this, this type of tool is, is actually amazing. Uh, you don't have to have a ton of clients, you know. If, whatever you do, art, you build <clears throat> websites, you got a crochet business on Etsy, you know. Orders once once you start getting a little bit of traction, it'll, it'll you know it'll start to catch up to you. So I recommend checking this out, uh, and especially right now because our listeners get fifty percent off when you visit Honeybook.com/tiny. Payment is flexible. This promotion applies whether you pay monthly or annually. So go to Honeybook.com/tiny for fifty percent off your first year. That's honeybook.com slash tiny. And listen, guys, last, last, uh, uh, last but not least, okay, if you're using one of the big wireless carriers in 2019, have you asked yourself what you're paying for? Between expensive retail stores, inflated prices, and hidden fees, you're being taken advantage of because you know they know that you'll pay. They know that they can just charge you whatever, and you'll be like, yep, 100 bucks, sure, fuck it. Enter Mint Mobile. Okay, Mint Mobile provides the same premium network coverage you're used to, but at a fraction of the cost because everything is online. Mint Mobile saves you, uh, saves on retail locations because you don't need those, and overhead, then passes those savings directly to you. Uh, makes it easy to cut your wireless bill down at just 15 bucks for, per month. Okay, that's a few lattes. Every plan comes with unlimited nationwide talk and text. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts ditch your old wireless bill and start saving today to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free go to mintmobile.com tmg that's mintmobile.com tmg mint m-i-n-t 
That's mintmobile.com slash TMG. Cut it down to 15 bucks a month, okay? Start saving. That's fucking mint, mate. Oh, yeah, <laughs> mate. That's mint. No, here's the thing. <laughs> if you use of... that shit, you'll be minted. You'll be minted. That's a phrase <laughs> that they use in Australia, uh, for which means you're rich, and we'll actually be going to Australia to do Man, shows. That shit is, um, yeah. How do we forget to talk about to that? This, I mean, whatever, bro. It's, it is what it is, people. Patreoners know what's up at least. Um, but if you're listening to this now, you know, it's Thursday night. Yeah, tickets go on sale tomorrow. Get you a ticket. Um, some of these shows in the pre sale are fucking clocking. I in, mean, dude, Australia like, dude, alone, like Sydney right now, is like half <laughs> sold already just off pre sale. I can't believe it, dude. I am like, that shit makes like just fucking. That shit made me feel so, uh, I don't know, motivated. Like just to just to know that we like you guys want to see us there, man. That shit makes me want to work. So I really want to say thank you to everyone who's by pre-sale and is going to come out to the show. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's Very cool excited. when you see it. You know, I mean, even when you see the YouTube analytics that say like to tell you there's people that watch your videos in Australia, but it does it's not yeah, real it's, until you know people buy tickets to come see you. That means that they you know they're really they really want they really care you know which is fucking awesome and it's cool that in different continents people actually give a shit so that's yeah, awesome yeah that yeah that's the thing i think like makes me just think like whoa i it, i don't do you ever do you ever feel this dude like you fucking you hit 4 million today congratulations ah, thank you. um do you ever do you ever feel this like the more people that are watching what you do do you ever feel like a little bit of responsibility like shit like Got it. It's not that you want to be careful, but it's like you got to think a little bit more. You can't just be so like, oh, I'm gonna just post whatever. Yeah, I mean that's so like oh, I'm gonna... that's why I was shouting out critical before because it just seems like he he just is just sticks to what he's always done. Or just yeah, like if he doesn't yeah, like something, that, he'll let you know, and it's just it'll let you I know exactly how he's feeling. You know, that's why I love that dude. He just like I love, especially it's in his voice. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like the yeah. epitome of not give a fuck. Yeah. Which is, um, I respect that shit so much. I like, yeah, I mean, like, you know, obviously we've all thought that scrolling through TikTok, you're, TikTok, you're like, cut, this is all fucking garbage. But then you're like, okay, maybe, there's <laughs> like, you know, a part of your brain that's like, well, maybe I'm being too critical. Maybe I'm being a fucking right. pessimist and I'm just, people, you know, if I put a video up like this, people, but he's like, I don't, I don't like it. And that's just how I feel. <laughs> and it's great. It's fucking awesome. Oh, man. Yeah, I um, I definitely feel that I mean, way though for sure. Yeah, I I I just uh, I mean like s seeing everyone like get hype and like tweeted us like I'm coming to this show, I'm coming to this show. Like I just started like getting a bunch of ideas for shit. I already told you one, and I think uh, I was already thinking about the beat for that. Yeah, dude, I was man. I like I recorded like a little voice memo for what I think could be cool. But yeah, dude, and dude, what thing for I was a chorus? Just, just like yeah, and just like some general structure for what that bit could be. And they sent it to me. I'll try and make a beat out of. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's you know it's whatever. Um, yeah, that whole uh, the other thing I was thinking was just like from our very first show to now, how like Tom would always tell us this shit. He's like, <clears throat> he's like it, it, you know, you you always have the show figured out by the end of the tour, and then when you when you start the new one, um, it's like starting from zero all over again. And I don't know, it just it. I I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to be like lock set, you know, like okay, going into this one, it needs to be polished. But I don't think you're ever gonna feel that way. I think you always always feel like we can add this, we can take this out, we can make this sharp. Yeah, and I think I think that's just the the best part about live performing is like you, it's a never ending thing. You can yeah, I agree. Be, you can always be better. That was a weird tangent. Anyway. No, I agree. It's that's why um, it's interesting. Like I wonder when people choose to film specials. Like, I yeah. wonder when they're like, all right, let's do it. It's ready. Yeah, that has to be such a hard thing, especially as a comic, because, like, like when you're just doing straight-up stand-up and it's, like, shit that comes from you. It could be stuff about your life. It could be, like, strong, like, uh, opinions you have and all that. And it's, like, even that process, like, I bet the specials, like, when you film that shit, it's probably, like, an hour and a half, you know? It, it probably isn't so, like, the same every time. Yeah. And like you probably watch it back a ton of times, and you're like, if I take this out, does it ruin the joke? Will people get it? Blah blah yeah. blah. But dude, I also kind of feel like 
I don't know. Do you ever get the feeling like when you see a special, like do you ever watch it and go, uh, I should have watched this live or like I yep. should have seen this in person? Definitely. I don't know, man. I I have this mixed feeling about recording specials. Like I, you need to do it so people see like kind of like they get a flavor of like what you can do, but it's just, it's not the same. Yeah. There's literally nothing about a recording that's the same. I don't know, man. I was watching some, I mean, there's some specials that are just so fucking good. Like I was watching, uh, I was watching Mitch Hedberg on YouTube mm -hmm. the other day. Yeah. His sh like I'm laughing as hard as the fucking audience in, in my room yeah. just alone, you know? That's true. That's true. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. It's it's definitely. But that's that shit is just a hard like. That that's got to be such a brutal decision. But anyway, should, should we put out those fucking? Should we put out those Canada videos? This is probably a private question, but I'm just gonna do a public. Well, we we gotta like look at the f footage, review it. No, 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 not not the full. I mean, like the ones like Chris already. Oh, did. like the vlogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Uh, we got to watch them again and see. It's really good, good content. It really is. I don't know why we're just fucking sitting on it, but. We just, why don't we put part one on Patreon? And then if people like it, then they can tell us if we should put out part two. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's fine. I like that. <laughs> the weakest. No, no, ever. that is good. Yeah. That's a good idea, I think. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. a good idea. We fucking Since owe we're the Patreon. behind on bonus man, content. I know. We, yeah. we, we owe them. We owe you guys. No, we we owe you guys. I I I feel like we should just because like yeah we're gonna sit on it. So yeah, that could be that could be yeah dope. sure. Um, did you see this Kodak Black shit? Uh, did I see that he held a a CO's balls? <laughs> that shit is fucking hardcore, bro. Dude comes into your cell and he's like, "Get the fuck up!" And you're like, "Get the fuck out of my cell!" And he's like, "What what you want about, bro?" And you just grab his nuts. And you're like, what you say to me, bro? What you say to me, dog? Dude, just full, and, like a handful of his package, you know? And re refusing to let go is the craziest part. Like, I picture this guy running away from his own balls, like a fucking <laughs> bungee cord at like one of those like carnivals. <laughs> I'm like, the, when, like a dad races his kid and he's just running away from his nuts. <laughs> ah, he's got my nuts! I mean, dude, wait, I read some crazy ass. There's some quote in the article. About how oh, hard he grabbed the guy's balls. <laughs> yeah, what, what fucking let's see, let's hear this English degree. Let's hear this shit put to work. Oh, where was it? I saw it on Reddit. Speaking, I don't go on Reddit, but it, I saw it. Speaking of your nuts getting smashed, uh, dude, he, oh, he, the the corrections whatever. officer needed surgery because of how hard Kodak Black grabbed his balls. That is so crazy, dude. That's a fucking crazy ass thing to do to someone. Just, <laughs> just like, <laughs> just staring him straight in the eye. Just dude, holding on to his fucking all... balls, dude. <laughs> That's emasculating. Not only that, dude. It's like, like, <clears throat> you know, was the correctional officer? Was he wearing like tactical pants? Was he just wearing like your work khakis? You know what I'm saying? What if he was wearing like what if it was a hot day and he's like wearing some linen? Yeah, just something a little softer, something more like, breathable. You know, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it easy today. I'm gonna wear the dry fit today. Yeah, and then Kodak comes in there and he's like, "Beautiful, you've wrapped it up for me very nicely. Yeah. Now I'm gonna hold on to this shit <laughs> like fucking like Christmas turkey. I'm gonna just fucking dig my fingers in there." squeeze the stuffing out and he's like <laughs> you think he was trying to pop him oh that that's the, actually the first thing that crossed my mind is like was he just squeezing the shit out just of him trying to yeah just fucking <laughs> just pop one out just there you go cum explodes like, out everywhere <laughs> it's like a seed like shooting out of a peach just fucking <laughs> that fucking that like old school comedy whistle sound effect place <laughs> <laughs> ah, my balls! <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> so stupid. Fucking Kodak, man. Someone was like, "Free Kodak, man!" And then some dude, they're like, "This isn't the effect of like they need to let him go." And someone quote tweeted it and said, "Nah, he needs to stay right the fuck there." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this dude keeps fucking himself over, man. Now yeah, he's got bro, three he's years there. and ten months in prison, which is actually kind of light for like how pretty yeah pretty bad yeah, pretty light was. for the 
Yeah, dude. I thought I thought it was a wrap. I thought he was gonna get like six to eight for sure. But you know, three three and ten. Is that and man. I mean you see O three Greedo and Kenny Beats are coming out with an album this Friday. I s I saw that the uh that, that documentary dropped. I haven't watched it yet. I've just been uh, Did you listen to the uh, song, the sit- single? Not man, I've been so fucking checked out. I just yeah, been, I guess you know, just reading just the news. Living, and- man. Sipping some Sip, peanuts. Sipping some peanuts, dude. Sipping a peanut here and there. You grabbing onto some peanuts. Grabbing onto some peanuts. Have you been sucking down some peanuts? Oh, dude, I've been slurping a peanuts or two. Just choking down on a nice cold peanuts. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I, love the, ta- even I love the taste. I love the taste of, of peanuts. <laughs> yeah, I love sipping a hard cold cock. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> what? No, that's not the bit, man. Huh? <laughs> some penis coladas. Penas. I love some penas. I love fucking the taste of penas. <laughs> Somebody clip that out, dude. No, Somebody don't clip, clip don't do that. It. Somebody don't clip do that, it. please. Don't clip Xbox it. Xbox record Thank that. You. Don't clip it. Xbox record that. Xbox record that. I mean, fucking O3 Greedo was sentenced to 20 years. Yeah, dude. He was originally facing 300 years. Yeah. Because they found yeah. four pounds of meth. That's insane, bro. I thought I thought it, I thought there was like a weapons charge mixed in there. I thought he had like a ton of different drugs that he was caught with. Yeah, it was like four pounds of meth and Damn. two stolen pistols. So you know he's about it, bro. But it, like he could Max be released in 20... five years for with good behavior. <clears throat> Max B, he um, what's the line? Uh, he's like he's like he he got a sentence and they got down to twenty and then they cut it down to twelve. So Max B might be out. So yeah, O three Greedo's out in five years. That'll be all right. Yeah, I mean, if he's still Bobby releasing Shmurda. music, like he's already been in there for like a year, hasn't he? What time did? That... Yeah, but he recorded a ton of shit, <laughs> dude. He's just fucking. He just he's on the same wavelength as every podcaster. He's like, all right, I'll record twenty episodes before I go in. <laughs> he's like, fuck it. Man. It ain't nothing but a verse. Let's yeah. go. He began his sentence in summer twenty eighteen. Wild, bro. So yeah, what is that a year and a half now? Yeah. Bobby Schmurd is almost out, dude. I know. You think he'll come back? Yeah, he will. I think. I'll listen to fucking whatever he puts out. <laughs> Does he get out, dude? Jamie, this shit. Jamie. Uh, next you know next tight. November, I think. Damn, bro. We we have all collectively lived through Bobby Schmurda's sentence, dude. I know. And it just seems like yesterday that fool got put away. That's crazy. Twenty fourteen, he went to jail. Wow. Wow, dude, and he's just in time to go back on TikTok with another single and blow the fuck up. Yep. Wow, you know, man, I was man. You, you, do you think Pop Smoke will ever be like super massive? Um, I don't know, cause he's got that song with Nicki. So that must have been their attempt at like making him huge, you know? Yeah, but even then, that was weird to me, cause I didn't feel like Nicki's audience. I mean, she's like from New York, so it's like they're gonna they're gonna bump it just off the strength of you know. Hey, if you guys uh, don't know Pop Smoke, whatever. listen to Pop Smoke. He's crazy. Yeah, he, He's got the one, um, this one song. He sounds exactly like 50 Cent. PTSD, bro. I fucking love that song. Um, He's got... It's just it's his whole... I don't know. Because he, he, he did... I mean, dude, uh, his fucking Instagram is... It's um, kind of crazy. He's got... I mean, he's getting like 100K likes per photo. Yeah, he... uh The, the, the track that Nicki remixed... What's it? Welcome to the Party? Yeah. Um that one was like the the one I feel like that really like started to like break out. Yeah, whoops. Uh, whoops. It's like random people knowing who he was. Yeah. Um but it's just crazy cuz all his beats sound like grime. Yeah, I know. And so I just I was just like listening to some of his shit think on the plane thinking like could he ever be like massive? I think he could, for sure. It's funny cuz like, you know, People always talk about how like New York used to run rap and then they don't anymore and like you don't see a lot of new New York artists like mainstream. But when you think about, it, I feel like New York has had like recently, you know, like 
the last five years or so. You have Bobby Schmurda, you had Six Nine, which is like the worst people you could attribute to whatever. Actually, no, Bobby's not the worst. Fucking Six Nine's the yeah. worst. But it's just um stupid. I was <laughs> I was just trying to think, is there anyone from New York besides Six Nine that's like gotten that big? Like is Six Nine yeah, like the biggest a, artist a boogie, in New York? Isn't from New York? Yeah. Do you think you think a boogie's bigger than six nine? Still, he's fucking huge, dude. His album was like Billboard top whatever for like a record number of weeks. All right, all right, all right. A boogie's fucking huge. Let's see. The monthly listens is twenty mil. Oh, twenty yeah, million, massive. dude. Yeah, he's massive. What am I talking about? Yeah, he's got hits. He's got mega hits. Seriously, look up the stats of his of his uh of his album. It's it's crazy. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Um what's Juice World at? This is just two guys on the computer now. We gotta stop this thing. <laughs> Juice World's got 30, 30 million monthly listeners. What the fuck? Yeah, he's getting sued again too. You see that? <laughs> yeah, by buddy from Yellow Card. I mean, it makes sense, dude. That shit is exactly the same. Yeah. I know. Hollywood Hollywood dying or whatever the fuck. <clears throat> All right. Um if you don't know what we're talking about, Juice World's getting sued again by a yellow card singer cuz um Lucid Dreams. Not only did they sample Sting, but the melody is carbon copy fucking yellow card melody. Yeah, it's pretty what crazy. What were you about to say? You said, "All right." Nothing. I was just going to fucking just try to find some, what else happened this week? A lot, dude. Hold on, let me go through my photos. <laughs> I got to go through my screenshots. Hold on. <laughs> Podcasting is hard mobile, dude. This conference call is fucked up. I mean, I was trying to avoid the obvious today. I, I really don't want to get into it. Oh, dude, yeah. That's a, that's a brutal, brutal tragedy, I man. This, this, nope, I don't want to get into it. How close were you to How How close were you? Yeah, this is not okay. <laughs> this is this is skirt all the way around. Yeah. Skirt. Um. Okay. I, I've been a Instagram boyfriend this week, so my photo roll is just is a mixture of DC, DC. If anyone, uh, if anyone lives in DC or wants to spend New Year's Eve with us, um, we're doing a show in DC on New Year's Eve ball drop show we're gonna be doing it's like gonna hit midnight as we're doing the show and you know we'll celebrate we'll maybe we'll write a song for it or something like that um Ooh, and that could be fun, yeah dude. i think it'd be a lot of new fun year's eve song? Yeah. it's about yeah, new year's dude, resolutions let's... yes let's yeah. do it just for that yeah. show that'll be sick yeah. um and so if you want to see that and spend new year's eve with us tinymetour.com you can get tickets for the new year's eve show it should be the first one listed on there dude, washington let's see, dc let's hit up Let's hit up Arista and see if they'll green light us to do like a special like if we put out that song like only the people at the show get like that song file on something. Oh, we could just do or that. It's just like, like a DRM disc that you can only get at that show. <laughs> yeah, it could be cool. It would be sick as yeah. fuck. It's just not burnable. Just not I say disc like anyone has a CD player. And we're like, <laughs> yeah, cool, dude, man. let's what get let's give them away a, do let's give away a mini disc. Yeah. Oh hell yeah, dude! A bunch of <laughs> bunch of Walkmans. <laughs> and then the biggest scam is it's it can only play Walkman. <laughs> Yo, let's let's uh, where are we at? Cause I got a funny ass relationship. Go advice. for it. Go for it. Go for it. I twenty eight male told my girlfriend twenty six female that I find deep throating hot, and now she's gagging herself on everything. <laughs> what? Like practicing. Hold on, dude. This shit is rich. Hold on. Read the post. All right. Yeah. Two weeks ago, my girlfriend asked me for my top five things I'd like to try. I mentioned this also, this whole post is just a humble brag. Hold on. I mentioned deep throating and she probed me on it. Unfortunately for her slash me that she, uh, she has a relatively shallow gag reflex. I don't mind and I've tried to avoid bringing it up. I never wanted her to think I was disappointed. Uh, since then, she's been practicing to get me deeper, <laughs> which just which reads to me as practicing to get my massive dick down her throat. Yeah. 
At first, I thought it was cute slash sexy, but I'm starting to get annoyed slash repulsed by it. She wakes up two and a half hours before I do, and I've been waking up to five or six gags while she brushes her teeth in the morning. Wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> was so he she's saying like she's getting up in the morning? Would she say that yeah, she's like gagging she's, herself or that she's brushing her teeth for two hours? Like, no, no, no. Just like he'll wake up. Like oh, he's just saying he's waking up to those sounds. Okay. Yeah, just, as she's brushing her teeth, she's like, <laughs> she's training, dude. Yeah, she's training. Can't dude. hang, you guys. I got to train fight. today. <laughs> Sorry, can't can't come out today. I gotta I gotta train. This is the best part. The other day. Uh, we had asparagus, and she tried to deep throat that. <laughs> Last night we were watching TV, and every once in a while she'd ram her fingers into the back of her throat. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Ram? Just can you imagine that? Just watching, like watching fucking succession. chef's table. <laughs> 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 Babe, what are you doing? <laughs> Training. So I think. So I think I'm going to chick- try to cook the chicken ricotta with. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, he says, I don't know what to say to her because she's putting herself through this discomfort to try to please me. And I don't mind her current skills. I also don't want her to know that waking up to gagging at 6 a.m. every morning, gagging at dinner, gagging during movies, gagging before bed is getting on my nerves a bit. and has made me lose my appetite once or twice. <laughs> How do I tell her to at least tone it down without coming across like a huge jerk? Dude, she's getting the top comment. She's getting to the gag. Dude, she's getting to the gag. Hey, the top comment was, "Does anyone else hear the Rocky music?" <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. That's so funny. Dumb, a montage of her like <laughs> like going outside in a gray sweatsuit <laughs> in the cold of winter <laughs> and just <laughs> gagging her. <laughs> god damn bro this fool yeah my girlfriend uh can't fit my massive member in her face oh my god wait is this on reddit right now is this on uh, what is it reddit.com gotta be reddit r-e-d-d-i-t got it dot org dot eu dot dot co dot uk dot co dot uk relationship advice. advice is this on the page right on Man. the front page right now uh no i was like from a few oh, nights ago okay. i read that shit on the beach and just started howling man i was like no goddamn way yeah dude that's Fuck such like a fucking shit. humble like brag too you know yeah that your girlfriend can't oh she just can't gag yeah me. it's so it's so annoying like she keeps like you know training herself to get you know, all nine inches down there. <laughs> she can't gag it. It's just, you know, I'd love her to gag it, but she can't. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Wow. What are you reading? I just you just read fucking Reddit. Had search to find it. Sucks ass. You can't search shit on Reddit. Not that I <laughs> ever try, but you know. Oh man. What else has been going on? I went to New York on Sun. I went to New York on Saturday after the tour finished. I went there to do a oh yeah, that's a right panel that's with right. the other real bros of Simi Valley. So it was Nick. Y'all went in, y'all y'all went in character, right? Y'all went fully in character, method no. acting, right? The Absolutely whole time. Absolutely not. We had some conference call on the guy. I told you this, right? On the podcast, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. I I <laughs> Can you already. say this? Yeah. 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 I think yeah, I told Jimmy you on like, the podcast. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy was like, we cannot. He's like, how about doing it in character? And Jimmy's like, nope. Okay, cool. (laughs) No worries. Um, But it was good. It was good. It was part of the New York Comedy Festival. Um, It was me, Jimmy, Christian, Colleen, and Nick. Uh, And so we were on stage. And, like, it was dope. Like, 250 people probably showed up. Like, it was packed. Like, a small little music venue. And it it was packed. And it was, like, all, like, you know, like, it was, like, an older crowd. It was cool. It was, like, people that genuinely like really enjoy the show and like wanted to know about like it being made and like funniest moments on set and all that stuff so it was cool like you know i felt like one of those like marvel dudes at comic-con or <laughs> game of thrones <laughs> cast where they sit there and people just ask them questions about what it's like to like, film the show or whatever you're like yeah and i'm sitting there you know i feel like captain america yeah, exactly yeah no i'm fucking ant-man or i don't know Paul Rudd, dude. Paul Rudd. I'd, I'd be Paul Rudd. Yeah, I'd be Paul Rudd. He's fucking. Yeah, he's dope. Yeah, he's the best. The Look at us. 
Who would have thought? Not me. Yeah. Not me. That's tight. So what was like the dopest question you got? Um, The dopest question that I got. Mm, someone. Oh, someone asked me about like the funniest <laughs> moment on set. And so I told that story with Getter mm. and Peter. But I kind of make that funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a fucking funny story. It was so funny that I just got to figure out how to communicate it <laughs> better. Hell yeah. But it was really good. That's dope. I um. So what I are you gonna do for the rest of the day? A, drink some penis. Yeah, I'm gonna drink some penis. I think um, you know, I'm a. I'm how many penises? How chill. many penis? Penises. <laughs> just a, just at least like you know, at least four or five. The four or five penises like, at once, or one after another. No, one after. Oh, another. Okay, okay, it's, got it's, it. It's 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 kind of hard to do them all at once, so you just gotta you gotta space them out. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a lot of fluid. Yeah. Definitely a lot of fluid. Yeah, man. that's tough. They're heavy too. You you know? space they're not, you know, they're not small penis. They're big. Oh, penis. Are they big? They penis? got the big. They got the big daddy penis oh, okay. here, so you can. It's like the double size. God, so. it's like the family sized penis. Yeah, yeah, it's meant for your whole family. Penis. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You can share it. <laughs> it's a giant penis for the family. Share with the whole family. Yeah. Share it with mom, dad, and the kids. Got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool that they do that though. Is it all inclusive? Are you want to? <laughs> No, 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 all inclusive. It's a uh, oh know, yeah, got it. Sorry, go. I gotta I'm getting close to doxing you again. <laughs> it's pay as you go. <laughs> I don't think there's all inclusives in Hawaii. Not that I've seen. No, I think that's a, just a Mexico thing. You should get out, get out there, go kite surfing. <clears throat> yeah, I think the the only surfing I will do is a uh, couch surfing. Nice <laughs> cabana day couch surfing. Nice, I like that. Sorry, I'm just fucking typing oh. away here. Yeah, just dude, just working on some Excel Two files. Two dudes on the computer, just Two chatting. Dudes on the computer, that's that's the new pod. It really is. Man. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of stoked on this idea of putting out this content that we're unsure about on Patreon. Yeah, I'm just going. I don't want to. Sorry. No, no, we should do that. I think oh. it's a good idea. Let's just do it. Let's just drop it next Tuesday. I'm just saying it. Fuck I'm just it. Just saying. We just do it. Fuck, Fuck it. it. I don't give a shit, dude. Fuck it. Let's just do yeah. it next Tuesday. Let's, let's fuck it. I don't it. give a shit. Let's do it. All right. Dope. I don't give yeah. a shit or let's, piss. They deserve it. All right, guys. They deserve um, it. They deserve it. That's true. <laughs> What's That's up? Very Where true. are we going? I was just gonna. I was just gonna start winding things down a little bit. <laughs> what the fuck is the wind down? What is? The, there's never been a wind down on this show. Well, What's so our wind down? Know, well, oh. no. Like you know, you start. You know. Start initiating the, the goodbyes. Damn. You know? So just a three minute. Okay. 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 Cool. So great. Great. Cool. Great. We should do a wind up segment where it's like we know it's like the end. Like, you know. We know what's like, are you cut out? Search. There should be a wind down like tops porn searches of the week or something yeah. like that. Like yeah. You know, see, you know, what time it is, folks. We're getting to that. We're getting to the finish line. So here are your top five search terms this week. <laughs> Dude, you see all that shit about on Pornhub about like the underage verified user and all the revenge porn and shit. This is a fucking what? It was a nasty. It was a nasty little Twitter thread about Pornhub. Like I was like, whoa. And I don't mean nasty in the sense that like it's like a. You know, like it's wrong. Like it was legitimately nasty. Like fucking yeah. There's like we... underage girl uploads and. So this is someone you know. like on Twitter <clears throat> exposing Pornhub for like yeah not, a little like, bit like they just they... policing content. Yeah, and they're just basically saying like they profit from like revenge porn and child porn and and various other things and. I mean, I wouldn't uh... be surprised at that at all. No, it doesn't really no. seem it like doesn't they mean that it's. I mean, they might. They yeah, might like. Uh, moderate content on there. I can't imagine, dude, because like everything on there is so explicit. Like they're not gonna invest in fucking, you know. Oh, the content's got to be this. Yeah. I mean, there was some like, fucked up but, shit on YouTube too. But now, so like you know, you saw how YouTube now is to like after this lawsuit, like they have to abide by this COPA thing. Yeah, that's I saw fucking. That. Marking your channel is not for kids, which I haven't done yet. Like, which I'm, we're we're both gonna have to do. I just yeah. feel like that's just gonna be the nail in the coffin for making money on YouTube. It's just like, oh, see ya. All these people, 
not advertiser friendly. Like I just somehow feel like that is going to guarantee people get punished. I mean, like there are plenty of companies though that don't just advertise to kids. It's just like yeah, mostly it's true. like collecting data on children, and I think like once you mark it? your channel, once you mark your channel for kids, or what, your channel for kids or whatever, then they don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just, you know, that's just a conspiracy theorist to me. That's me being Alex Jones. I feel like they're just going to nail everybody who's like, oh, yeah, not for kids. See ya. Yeah. Like, what do you define as not for kids? Like, our content? You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely that. Um, or, like, is Hot Ones considered eligible for children? Probably not. They're talking about, like, baby channels, dude. Like, fucking Ryan's Toy Reviews and the weird Russian Got shit okay. where they, like, Okay. cryptically right, tell right. kids to fucking kill each other with cartoons. All right. <laughs> I'm just on Twitter. It looks like FaZe Ewok is going to Mixer now. Hell yeah, dude. I actually kind of like this big shakeup with streaming. It's kind of dope. I like it too, and I also like that everyone has, has like this big announcement video. It, and they're all the same, and they all suck? They all They're all the same. They all suck, but like it's... It's funny, like it's funny that it's that big of a thing. Like you think they just tweet, "Hey, I'm yeah. on Mixer now, guys," but they're making yeah. it this fucking Mixer is making it this huge ass thing, where it's like yep. people are moving, you know, and it yep. makes it seem like people are abandoning Twitch. Yeah, like that's what the picture it paints, you know, like people in general, not just these people. It makes it think like well, it, I mean, it, it just hammers home it's a one or the other, you know. Yeah, well, I think, you know, I think Twitch needs to get their fucking shit slapped up a little bit. Just like the way they, just how their double standards and all that shit is fucking, is garbage, dude. Yeah. They need to, they need to get a little bit of fucking unification on that uh, corporate culture, man, and their fucking, how they enforce shit, because it's half of its horse. Yeah. I thought. Do you know, that's just, go ahead, go ahead. I thought of a series I want to do on Twitch. Ooh. Yeah, I might do it. I'm not going to tell you what it is on, on podcast, but I lo- I like it a lot. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Dude, it's cool. You can you want to get naked. It's fine. I want to get naked. I want to drink. <clears throat> I want to drink this. penis. Drinking penis on, on Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. Well, I think it might be that time to go drink a penis right now. Do it, now. man. Go. Go. Uh, yeah. No. Fucking go suck down a penis. Um, guys, <laughs> D.C. New Year's Eve. TinyMeTour.com. Yeah. Grab some tickets for that. Global tour. UK. The global tour. Germany. Yeah. Australia. Everybody Berlin. pull up. Oh, you already said Germany. Um, yeah. Where else? Ireland. You already said that. And then the rest of the states. Yeah, everybody pull up. That was our big announcement. Um, yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> we'll see you I guys next wait, week honestly. in studio. In studio. In Yeah, in the studio. We'll no, I'm home, gone next so. week. No, 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 Wednesday, Wednesday. We're going to oh, do okay. it before the big meeting. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you. Peace. Gang. <laughs>